I agree. He almost got himself in a pickle. That was a real pickle. He almost got himself in. <laughs> What's up, Hard Work Gang? Gang, gang. It's your boy, Frankie Hard Work, and I am super duper back with another one, y'all. Let's get straight into it. So, your boy, Joe Button, shout out to Joe Buttons, decides to respond on the show. Joe Button Podcast is on Patreon. Go check it out. And um, he had a few choice words. Now, I'm about to play this quick clip for y'all, fair use, fair use. And in this clip, I kind of edited a little bit, and some of it was already edited, but I edited more, so I'm breaking down a little bit shorter. Didn't want to make this video too long. So I want y'all to check this out, right? And then when I come back with my commentary, I'm going to break down some other things that I've definitely seen as well. And I want to actually speak on some. So listen to this, y'all, and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. Pod. And they know that Mo is not my girl. Yeah, one of the two. One of the other. True. Uh, and, she's, and the waitress says... Flipping New Jersey. <clears throat> now I say I only know one flipping New Jersey. Right. Oh shit, maybe C's is up in here. So I get up. I go outside to this little smoke section where I could see a little down the. Mm -hmm. And I don't see. I don't see. I don't see nobody. Right. So then she gives a description. No, it's a nigga with a scully and glasses. He's not white, but he's not black. He's something. <laughs> she gave a description of the person that sent the drink. Yes. But the person is not physically inside. It's not Caesar. Oh, gotcha. I mean, but it's he's not, not Caesar flipping New Jersey. Flipping New Jersey, yeah, Caesar. So to me now, this is just like a weirdo mm -hmm. fan. Yeah, yeah. Being fan, funny. You got it. Somebody trying being to Being funny. Cool. Or maybe somebody really likes Mo. Sending a drink and he keep getting up and going over and he got some people with him and just be careful. And I said, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Then his friend gets up and he's walking. He keeps walking. He positions himself at the corner of the bar. What I'm telling you is it was a lot of wacky, mm -hmm. like goofy shit going on in there. Mm -hmm. Everybody out. It ain't but five people in here. Mm -hmm. See, that's the other thing. These clips say somebody pulled up on me. No. These goofy niggas was just in here. <laughs> they like pulled up. They was there. Gotcha. So okay. everybody got to get out. These two goofy niggas. All the news is, yo, man, you, you're smoking. <laughs> you're smoking again. <laughs> All the news is that. And who's that girl? <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck my safety. <laughs> and, and, and the other one was, did this nigga put a lit cigarette in his pocket? pocket. <laughs> like magic. Like magic. I see, I had to watch it back. I watched it back. I'm said, smooth. Oh, did he really? Look? That's how much that nigga was pissing okay. me off. But anyway, like the sig, these niggas come out and they just standing there looking like they're waiting for the Uber. It's two niggas. Uh, non threatening looking niggas. Like, I still don't know who this dude is. So they stand there, he pulls his phone out, and that's what you hear. Buddies, buddies. Yo, please. Please don't take me. But it, please don't take me, like you saw. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mo, you walk, you walk inside. So Mo walks inside. I hit so. So comes. But I walk out, and I have a few words with him and them. How many dudes was it? I agree. He almost got himself in a pickle. That was a real pickle he almost got himself in. <laughs> Before I go deeper to my commentary, I want to shout out Stu Fu. He's either a, con uh, a subscriber or he's either uh, somebody that just commented on my video and he said that that was Caesar Pena brother because in the last video, I kept saying Caesar, 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 right? Because if you look at the post, Caesar made it seem like he was there. So I kind of, even though I knew that that was his brother, it sounded like his brother, I still was thinking like maybe he was there with his brother, right? So shout out to Stu Fu. It is what it is. Let's get into it. Now, this video, I mean, this clip that I'm showing y'all right here, this a post that Joe Button put up in the stories, and it's a picture of Ben Affleck smoking a cigarette, saying, there's clout demons everywhere, and oddly, strangely, it damn near looked like that could be Joe Buttons in that video, but that's a whole nother story. Now, I agree with Joe Buttons when he says clout demons everywhere, because in my last video, I was saying to myself, like, what the hell he put out a camera for? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was gonna go down, it's gonna go down. Everybody ain't gotta see everything. Everybody don't have to know everything. That was just kind of corny to me. I guess he was trying to get out of effect. Like, bro, you can be touched anywhere. I can catch you anywhere. So it is what it is. And also, uh, shout out to Tony Closer. He said that, allegedly, that they had bear mace on them. Bear mace. Mace for bears. And that would've got ugly if that was the case. But Joe Buttons, 
He was said he was cool because he called his man and he discussed it more outside. They pretty much got into it more outside. I would love to see the videotape of that and why Caesar Pena brother didn't record that conversation because it probably didn't go the way he wanted it to go, right? But I have to say this to you, Joe Buttons, because you're a fellow New Jerseyan, right? I need you to be more on point. I need you to be more on point because if they stand on our side next to you, you over here and they over there, bro, you got to keep your eyes on them like glue. And not because, yo, you scared or nervous like that, but you got to walk around with your head in a swivel, period. Period. Whether you in the streets or out the streets because you're a, you're a figure now. You've been a figure, but now you're a big figure now with this podcast. So be on point, my brother. Be more on point. But I want to know how y'all feel about the situation because I feel like Cesar Pena is bugging. He bugging because why would you put something like that on camera knowing that you got so many people on your case like that? That looks like a form of intimidation that could get, be used against you. People don't understand that a lot of these things that they're doing, they don't understand that shit can really get real out here with these feds and states and stuff like that with these cases. They taking stuff from internet and putting it in the case now. So that was kind of stupid to me. And I think that was just, it was just weird because if it's going to go down, it's going to go down and whatever happens, happens. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think that was thorough what he did? You think that was gangster what he did? Or you think that was just straight up corny what he did? Y'all let me know in the comments. It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. I didn't even mean to say like, comment, subscribe. But if you want to, go ahead. I appreciate it. Easy.